What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we've been blessed with an update for the check crane. It finally supports iOS 14, although not on all the devices, but it does have support for iOS 14 on many of them. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software that allows you to fix iOS system issues, fix iTunes synchronization issues, upgrade, downgrade, reset your device and exit and enter recovery mode. Check it out in the link below. So just a couple of hours ago the official check crane jailbreak account posted a quote, CheckRain 0.11.0 is now available, adding support for the iOS 14 on A9 and A9X devices and below. A10 devices and above not supported yet. Read our statement. So as you probably know, just a couple of days ago iOS 14 was released, it has a lot of great features, it's pretty cool, it's very popular right now, and these guys already managed to jailbreak it publicly. So the CheckRain jailbreak website has been updated today to contain the support for the iOS 14. So basically if you download it right now, the version 0.11.0 beta, it has support for the iOS 14 on those devices and it also officially supporting iOS 13.7, 13.6, 13.6.1. You no longer need to go ahead and toggle that option in here on options allow untested iOS. It's finally able to jailbreak 13.7 officially. And that should also mean potentially more stability. So this update that we received is packed. It contains a lot of bug fixes, it contains a lot of official support for various devices in iOS versions including 14.0 and there are multiple changes in here. Now they also posted this link called preliminary support for iOS 14 read the announcement and the announcement is pretty long but it contains very important information. I'm gonna try to sum it up for you but it's very important to read it if you have the time. Basically they say in here quote these are the devices that we initially support on iOS 14. So the iPhone 6 6s, 6s Plus and the iPhone SE, the iPad 5th generation, the iPad Air 2, the iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro 1st generation, Apple TV 4 and 4K and the iBridge T2. And these are the devices that we hope that will be supported in the coming weeks. The iPhone 7, 7 Plus, the iPad 6 and 7 generation, iPod Touch 7, iPad Pro 2nd generation. So these devices will hopefully be supported in the next weeks but are not currently supported on iOS 14 by this jailbreak. And these are the devices that will be addressed in a future statement, their situation is a little bit unclear at this point. The iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. Basically the A11 devices. So this is actually a huge update. It supports iOS 14.0. It's basically the very first public jailbreak for iOS 14.0. Now as you probably know the check range jailbreak is available for Mac OS but there are also some Linux versions available in here for multiple CPU architectures but there is currently no Windows version available. If you want to use the check range on Linux you can find the tutorial in the description down below. Another very important thing they mention in here about the A10 and A11 devices and the support for iOS 14 is the fact that they are trying to use the Blackbird exploit or vulnerability that has been made available by WinKnown, which I think is a member of the Pengu team and using that they are going to try to somehow work around the mitigations in iOS 14 which made the iOS 14 jailbreak pretty hard from the check range. There is a new SEP related mitigation which basically makes SEP not be able to decrypt the user data if the device is booted from DFU mode, which of course CheckRain does. Now once you download it, of course it comes in a DMG format if you're on a Mac and all you have to do is to drag it and drop it in there. And of course user interface wise nothing has changed. You plug your device in normal mode, press start in here, put it in DFU mode and your device will be jailbroken. A tutorial will be available today. But yeah, that's basically it. CheckRain is the very first jailbreak to be updated for iOS 14, although only for for the A9 and A9X devices and lower. So if you have an iPhone 6s, an iPhone SE, an iPhone 5s, an iPhone 6 and stuff like that, those are supported. And hopefully using the Blackbird exploit for SEP, we would be able to get more support in the future. But yeah, iOS 14 officially and publicly jailbroken. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Gia Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. A tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 14 will be available later today. Peace out.